I hear the sick already, and it's like, she wanna do all of that for a crowd, so I'm just gonna get out of here before I end up saying that I can't be taken back. I'm out here, I'm going to the airport, I'm going to Miami. I ain't, I ain't trying to be around all this bad energy, so. Where'd he go? He's leaving his own baby. Yeah. Men of Mondays are back and it's better than ever. And I'm ready to get married to the love of my life. I've loved hard for so many years to all the wrong people. But this time I'm in love. And this is absolutely the one. We only got three weeks and this is going to be the wedding of the century. Babe. Get ready. I know, but we gotta do some stuff first. Don't turn me on the time. I met Erica on a show we did called Scared Famous. If Erica goes home, the girl who I'm falling in love with is gone. That's how I'm looking at it. If I lose, I don't get to wake up and see you every day. Oh, safari. I saw a lot of me and Erica, and y'all know how much I love myself, so how could I not wanna be with me in a female version? All right, we got a few minutes, like, 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 Three and a half. To do what? Mm. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. There were guys lined up at Erica's door, every girl in her DM trying to get with her. When Rich found out I was with Erica. How many times did I ask you? Ask me what? If you were with Erica. Safari, come on, man. And he started acting like he wanted to jump across tables and fight me. Don't talk about somebody like that. Doing? She's not here. <laughs> To persevere through all the BS and the hate, all me and Eric have to do is live in our own bubble. I love you. You know how much I love you. <laughs> Being with you, like, I'm, I finally get the love that I, I always used to give, always wanted. Thank you for being so good to me. Like, even after my dad died, like, the way you just came and just... That's why I say, like, to you all the time, like, I feel like he sent you to me because it was just, like, I lost him and then it was you. My father, we found out he had cancer in February. Then we lost him shortly after. In some spiritual crazy way, my heart tells me he sent Safari to me. Even King loves you. I know. So I'm gonna be like a real stepfather. Done a great job so far. And I really think you'd be like a great father too one day. <laughs> this changes your life. Yeah, that's right. Erica is pregnant, baby on the way. Remy and Pap, you ain't the only one having a golden child. Now we having a rose gold diamond baby. The platinum placenta on the way. Thank you so much. Erica set up a meeting today with a lawyer just for us to go over some pre-wedding stuff. She is the best at getting ahead with this kind of stuff and just making sure that we on path to keep this wedding straight. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm Jason Erica. Martin. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. How, how are you doing? doing? Nice Safari. to meet you. All right. Have a seat. Let me pull out your chair. Who do you think I I'm some I just be so Neanderthal? anxious to sit nowadays. Okay, so I often meet with celebrity couples before they get married. We can discuss ways to protect yeah. your interests and your privacy. So one thing we want to really get into right away is us purchasing our dream home. We want to just make sure that everything that we own is insured. Okay, we can make that happen. And then I wanted to start the process to get maybe a prenup situated. Okay, we can have that conversation. Are you ready to have that conversation? I think we should have had that in private first before you... That's why we're here. Do you guys need a minute? Yeah. You're going about this all wrong. We should have had a private convo before you put me in front of some stranger ass lawyer that I never met a day in my life. And but now that's you want to talk about my details it. for a prenup. No, we should have spoke about this before. So what are you saying? That's you don't want one? Is that what it is? That's not something I ever even thought about. Is this love and something real, or is this a business deal? This like, is obviously something real, babe. Come on. 
This is the mother of my child, my fiance, the woman I'm supposed to spend the rest of my life with. And then she pulls this shit on me? We're weeks away from getting married. But I've been telling everybody how perfect this relationship is. But how are we getting married if you still have doubts? But you also have to understand where I'm coming from. Like, I, like what I experienced, what you, I'm letting you know, if you cheat on me, there's no saving anything. I get it all. But you sound crazy. If I cheat, you get everything I have. No, we having a baby together. I'm locked in no matter what. Why are you coming at me with this type of BS? I'm not trying to, like, make any problems for our relationship at all. You know, honestly, I didn't know how to talk about it. Like, I just want to be protected. That's it. I love you, and I do want to marry you. I just want you to understand where I'm coming from. Like, my biggest fear is ending up to be a wife that does get cheated on and doesn't know how in the end, I'm being deceived. No, you didn't. <laughs> this is beautiful. I just wanted to make things right. You cussed me out in every corner of the house, so I wanted to bring you. I really didn't curse you out, but I was definitely frustrated with you. You know why, though, right? Yeah. Of course, and I totally understand. I was wrong for that, and I definitely should have told you about that conversation off rip, and I'm sorry for that. So you do understand that it wasn't an issue that she was invited, it was the fact you made it seem like you never invited her, but really you did. I really didn't mean to be misleading, but at the end of the day, I I'm sorry that I, I sent something that could have come across like an invite. I got to get out of my ways of the old safari and be a new husband safari. What my wife feels is what she feels, and if she says I'm wrong, I got to make things right. I apologize. You will never have to worry about anything like that again, OK? <laughs> I really don't think that safari had anything shady going on. He just got caught in a lie and doubled down and just wouldn't see how it hurt me. But seeing all this, I could see that the message got through. Trust is everything. And even though it isn't easy, this is definitely the way to build it. It wasn't supposed to be so cold. <laughs> you want your hat? No, that was kind of cool. <laughs> so this isn't the only surprise. You do it Close your eyes. OK. All right. OK, open. Safari. I mean, yes. Oh. All over again. Hell yes, all over again. Safari proposing again just means that the commitment he's giving me is for real. And just like he's ready to propose again, I'm ready to say I do again. Look, I'm going to be the most on point, honest person so that I don't have to keep on. You know, doing stuff like this. <laughs> Marriage is all about family. It's not about me, myself, and I. Why? The Bible teaches that perfect love drives out fear. And fear will only suck your relationship dry. Because where there is fear, you can't trust properly. Erica, Jasmine, Madam. Take your time. I used to dream about you. I wanted you for so long. And I thank you for giving me the opportunity to actually take me serious. <laughs> and show you how you're supposed to be loved. Everything before today. None of that matters. I love you so much. You have filled my life with so much joy, and you have given me a sense of peace I have never known. 
although today marks the start of the rest of our lives, one lifetime with you can never be enough. God made sure I was yours and I'm devoted to you in every way. I marry you with no hesitation or no doubt. I take you as you are, loving you for who you are now and for who you have yet to become. From this day forward, you will never walk alone. Amen. I do. I do. Let these rings be a seal of your faith and of your mutual affection. I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm Mrs. Safari Samuels. <laughs> it's like, it's here. It's here to stay. <laughs> snap, come on everybody, snap. I did it! I've been crying. I've been an emotional wreck all day. Now, it's time to party. So right now, I am super panicking. Like, I cannot freaking believe this. I just had to fight everything last minute, so now I'm just sitting here, and I'm waiting for my boy to pick me up. And like, this is crazy. Yes, thank you, thank you, all right. To my unborn, I can't wait to meet you. The world's yours, I'll never mislead you. We here waiting, anticipating. We're only year one, and like, there's no reason why I'm not in bed with my husband. God knows I do cry myself to sleep when we sleep in separate rooms. I'm at a breaking point, and that's the scary part because the Scorpio in me is once I give up, you know, there's no getting me back. I'm hard you love. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I know. I feel like you're my roommate. I've been sleeping in my studio. Is it fulfilling? It's been, um... Does it hug you back? Does it what? Does it hug you back? No, but I've been able to be calm. <laughs> calm? Yeah. Come from the hell you've created? I haven't created hell. No? I just feel like you act very different from before we got married. You just... Yeah, because... It's changed a lot. I feel really neglected by you. I feel like you don't take the time to be into me like you used to. You forget, you know, about me. Like, you don't even think sometimes on the weekends to let me sleep in and you take care of mommy. You don't even think, let me just fold these clothes that, you know, she washed for me. I know they're my underwear. Like, you just, you're just so oblivious and so in your own world and you forget that you're supposed to be my other half. We're supposed to be a team. Yeah, well, we're definitely not a team. Doesn't feel like it. I wouldn't take our wedding pictures and put it in the garbage. For what? What the hell were you thinking when you did that? You just tweeted to the world that I'm marrying me was your biggest mistake, and you worried about me dumping wedding pictures that I can't Yeah, because that's personal. That's real yeah, life. And so is that's real that's... life. You tweeted something. So it's not real life. Like, are you even remorseful for the public humiliation? For, like, how you're making me feel? What are you putting me through? 
No matter what's in jeopardy for my husband, it, there's still no click. You asked for my hand in marriage. You asked for this family that we've created together. And now that you have it, it's not interesting enough for you anymore. I know I said that. How about like when you make comments about like, how you don't want to have any more kids? That has nothing to do with you. I didn't realize having a kid was this much work. So that's why I said I don't want no more kids. It's a lot of work. I didn't know it was this much work and we don't have any help. Do you not like being married? Well, I'm almost scared, like, you don't want to do life with me. It's so dramatic. Us talking one-on-one -on -one is a waste. You need to talk to somebody, and you just need to figure your oh, out. Oh, what about you? I'm fine. <laughs> what? You don't know how to do real life. It's not a rap video every day. What's real life I don't know how to do? This. I mean, at the end of the day, everybody has problems. Everybody has demons. It's just a matter of you're mature enough yeah, to I, face well, I don't, well, whether I have problems or not, I don't, <laughs> I don't come out aggressive. You're aggressive, what? and I don't like the aggressive side. What? You don't like the aggressive side? I don't but like you, it. You stir up the pot. Don't and when matter. it starts overflowing and boiling over, ooh, it's too hot for safari. Get over it. Oh, get over it. Or don't get over it and do what you got to do. Okay. What do I got to do? Then? Whatever you got to do to make yourself happy. What do I got to do? I don't know. Do what you want to do. Okay. You don't care? I don't care. Cool. Are we done? talking about pull up to my driveway have girls come blindfold me maybe erica's trying to really turn it up a notch it's time to get it cracking take me to my bedroom ladies okay take off your blindfold It's like, you know how, I, how bad I've been wanting to go to Jamaica. I ain't been able to go to Jamaica in over a year because of the pandemic. You had them come bring a whole big jerk jump pond for me. The thought and the detail in this, this is what the hell I want my marriage to be. Yo, damn. Are you happy? I'm, I'm blown away. This top everything you've ever done for me. <laughs> oh, wow. Really? Yes. All right, well, I'm going to leave you guys. You know what? Me like Erica and Safari together. I'm praying that the baby will bring them closer together. Damn, this is so nice. I love it. Aww. <laughs> I just wanted to do something because I know uh, things have been weird for us lately. So I've heard you make statements like having the baby is a lot of work and... Oh, it definitely... It's lighting up maybe this much, but the first year is definitely a lot. Well, yeah, and then I just feel like we lost a lot of what used to keep us so happy and, you know, so infatuated with each other. So I don't know, I just wanted to do something to, like, just get back into why we fell in love in the first place. I don't want to feel like I regret telling him. 
And it's sad to say, because this is my husband. Like, I'm supposed to be ecstatic. Like, I'm supposed to be like, I can't wait to see his face. Oh my God, how is he going to react? I'm actually more scared. And that puts me in a dark place. Finally, my husband actually is sitting across from me and I get the feeling he's actually grateful. So I'm like, okay, this is definitely the perfect time because I haven't seen this man smile this hard in a very long time, besides when we're in the bedroom. So let me seize the moment because if not, who's to say what the hell's gonna happen with this man? Um, I wanna show you something that I just found out. So what, you're pregnant? Mm -hmm. We're pregnant. How many weeks are you? 23. Say something. You know how I feel. About? About having more kids. Are you sad? Are you, like, upset? I don't know what I am. I felt like we just started getting a rhythm with Machi turning one. I'm going to have to start all over again. Sierra! Hey, Machi! Hi! Hi, beautiful. I'm done talking to them. Oh, I'm sorry. Girl, they got a lot going on. Me and Safari was supposed to be leaving from the baby shower to Miami together to have a family getaway. And he asked that I cancel my flight and stay behind. Here we are at a baby shower, my friend through for us. And he's not even acknowledging me or his daughter. He thinks things run on his time. That's not how it works. Right. The energy here, it's not right. I could see and feel and hear all the little knacking and tacking behind my back. So we're at a disgusting place right now. Hey, how are you, beautiful? Judy, Nadja, what's up? What's up? This is what You've been some serious <laughs> talking about dropping the hammer like a rap. You know he texts me? Yeah. He texts me, I will forever put myself before you. Oh. Yeah. So let's separate. Are you serious? Yeah. Was it in the heat of the moment? In the heat of the moment in the night? Because he's supposed to get pampers of milk. See, I hear the sick already. And it's like, she want to do all of that for a crowd. So I'm just going to get out of here before I end up saying that I can't be taken back. I'm out here. I'm going to the airport. I'm going to Miami. I ain't trying to be around all this bad energy, so. Where'd he go? He's he leaving his own baby. Yeah. He ain't no talking so far in the stand here for his wife. If you ain't gonna say nothing, at least stay just to show your support. He's like, man, f that. He's done. He, he, he's all the way out. Hi! Just talking about you, darling. Hi, mommy. Look at Super Mama. Always. Oh, what y'all got going on? I'm just and telling her. her. He disregards and disrespects how I feel all the time and runs away. He's always going to put himself before us. And that's his thing, too. When it's bad, he's so quick to, to leave. Oh, I don't play that. for a few weeks, so this is the first time I've seen Erica since we both filed for divorce, and you know, we just haven't been speaking. We got each other blocked, and nothing has been nice about our communication. I just want our relationship to just be co-parenting, no more arguing, as calm, as smooth as possible. You look nice. I'm sure. What's new? You being here? <laughs> Are you happy? I'm not doing who wild. That's what you wanted. I haven't seen my husband face to face in some time. And as much as I love him, I love me more. We 
we're gonna have this conversation because we need it. The main thing is that my kids come first. You know, we gotta get this whole parenting thing figured out. I'm still gonna be around. At the end of the day, whether me and you are together or not, I'm going to still be 100% for my family. How, when you don't have a family now? This is still my family. What is? You don't care if your kids grow up in a broken home. They, they, it won't be a broken yes, home. Yes, it is. You're living somewhere else. I'm living here. That's a broken home. And therefore, I have to suffer because you get to live where you say 20 minutes away, wake up when you feel like it, do as you please, where I have to be around the clock 24-7, a mother and a father when you're not around to our children. I'm weeks away from giving birth to our son. It's you that's out of town. It's me stuck in this house by myself, taking care of our daughter. You know, I definitely take responsibility for the things that, you know, I've done to cause her pain. But the last time I was at the house, I had to call the police because me and her got into an argument and she starts yelling and crying and throwing stuff at me and picking up sharp objects and I just need to protect myself. Look, I'm not gonna lie to myself. The inevitable with me and you, is us not lasting. It's not gonna we're not, last we're not gonna you last. No effort. If you love us the way you love you, yes. If you decided I'm going to be a man for mine, yes. But I know that's not the case. And that's why I filed for divorce. I know you would never put us before you. Never. This is really up. I feel scammed. So now you're free. Congratulations, you got what you want. You can live your bachelor life. It's not about You can do all of that that you want to do now. Father, and I want us to just be... Yeah, okay. ...be amazing for our children. Yeah, okay. She looks at me with so much anger sometimes, it's like, damn. But I know where my heart is. I know what I want to do. I still want to be there and do as much as, you know, I can with the kids. Our son will be born in a couple of weeks so that by the time he comes, I could really fully wrap my head around the fact that I'm gonna be a single mother of two under two. I'm gonna go check on my G. Hey, yo, it's Safari, listen. Thanks for watching, and you are now tuned in with the brand new Love & Hip Hop YouTube, all right? Subscribe, click it, there's a button right there, hit it right there, and subscribe, all right?